Good morning, meteorologist Steve Fendera here. A nice Monday to kick off uh, the month of April here, but temperatures are going to be a little bit interesting over the next couple of days. There's a stationary front nearby, so there's a lot of rain up towards the north if you look up that way. Um, and we're going to see a little bit of that rainfall later on tonight, but that stationary front wiggling around the region is going to have a huge influence in our temperatures. This afternoon, we could see temps in the 70s for most of us, but the peninsulas may only be in the 60s. That's at two, three o'clock this afternoon. Four or five o'clock this afternoon rolls around. If that front drops to the south, we could see temps in the 60s in Norfolk and then down in Chesapeake, it could be close to 80. So big spread in our temps here over the next couple of days. Just know it's gonna be cooler on the peninsulas and warmer towards the south side and northeastern North Carolina. It all just depends on where this front sets up. And as it drops in from the south, not only will it switch up our temps a little bit, it will throw in some late night showers and maybe even a thunderstorm through the um, uh, overnight. Now, most of the daylight hours today looking dry. Your morning looks great, just increasing clouds as the day goes on. And most of us will be in the 70s today. Tonight, we see the passing downpours and again, maybe a rumble of thunder. We're gonna do it again tomorrow in terms of our temperatures, except, except the extremes between the, the warm and the cold are gonna be a little bit more amplified. So we could be pushing 80 where things will be on the warm side of the front where temps may still only be in the 60s on the peninsulas and the uh, uh, eastern shore there. So big spread in our temps again on Tuesday before an approaching cold front comes in to kind of just settle everything down a little bit. So today, tomorrow, very unsettled. Wednesday comes in with the cold front, brings some scattered showers, and then settles down our temps a little bit. Now, in terms of rainfall, between today and tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday, our rain chances are really just in the late night hours. So warm and weird, 70s for most of us with some 60s on the peninsulas. The showers that come in today and tomorrow will be through the late night hours. Not as much tomorrow, but uh, after dark. So at least our daylight hours today and tomorrow are dry. The cold front comes in on Wednesday, brings some scattered showers for a majority of the region, and then a kind of cooler, if not chilly, finish to the end of the week. So April's kind of playing a little joke on us. We've got 30s for lows and 50s for highs toward the end of the week. That's Thursday, Friday, and into the start of the weekend. Future track has majority of the region dry for the daylight hours today, as we talked about. This evening, a few showers are close. Late night hours, here come those downpours, and again, maybe a rumble of thunder. Now, Tuesday poses to be a warmer day if the front lifts farther to the north. If it still hangs around the peninsulas, y'all could be stuck in the 60s, but at least most of Tuesday is dry few showers into the evening. That's about it. Now, Wednesday rolls around. Here comes the front. It'll still be warm, a little bit of a breeze, but some scattered showers roll in throughout the day and the afternoon to bring in that cooler air, which is how April is playing a joke on us. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s in the mornings and highs in the 50s through the end of the week, but it's dry air, so it sets up a nice stretch of weather.